everyone, Mariko Berg, residential realtor with Bridgewell Real Estate Group. And in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be breaking down the whole city of Burnaby. So in this video, I'm going to be covering some of the best neighborhoods in Burnaby to live in, the neighborhoods as a whole and kind of how I parcel them off and everything else that you need to know about Burnaby in terms of metro centers, real estate, things to do, parks and recreation and so much more. So why don't we just get into it? So I think it's first important to get an understanding of the lay of the lands when it comes to Burnaby. And Burnaby is huge. It's actually the third largest city in all of British Columbia. So in terms of what you're bordering when it comes to Burnaby, on the west side, you're bordering Vancouver, and that uh, boundary is Boundary Road. On the east side, you're bordering Port Moody and Coquitlam, and that boundary road is North Road. On the southeast-ish side, you're bordered by New Westminster with very easy access into Richmond, and that border is about 10th Avenue. Then on the south side, um, you have essentially Marine Way. And on the north side, that cutoff is essentially going to be around Barnett Highway, which is right next to that Burrard Inlet. So when it comes to notable main roads throughout Burnaby, running west to east, you essentially have Hastings, which then turns into Barnett Highway. You have Low Heat Highway that also goes through the city. You have the Trans-Canada Highway, which is the number one highway. It's a major roadway that connects Vancouver all the way out to the Fraser Valley, Hope, and onwards. You also have Canada Way that runs through the city. Kingsway that runs through the city more on the south side of Burnaby and then all the way down at the bottom of Burnaby on that south side you have Marine Way as previously mentioned. Notable north-south-ish roads connecting the city are Willingdon Avenue, Royal Oak Avenue and Gillardy Way. So having a lot of these major highways and roadways that run through the city obviously make Burnaby an excellent option for anyone that prioritizes accessibility. Whether that be by car or by transit, Burnaby is honestly an amazing option. There are a lot of different options in terms of transportation, whether that be just by regular bus or by the many SkyTrain lines that run throughout various parts of Burnaby. In terms of the SkyTrain lines that you have available to you, you have the Millennium Line, you have the Expo Line, which also runs into New Westminster and the Fraser Valley. And then you have the Evergreen Line, which is the newest extension that heads out from Lowheed Town Center into Port Moody and other parts of Coquitlam. If SkyTrain accessibility and pickup locations are important to you, then you'll want to pay attention to where you are within the city. So where these SkyTrain pickups are most dominant are going to be in North Burnaby, such as Brentwood Town Center, or maybe other options like production, and then into Lowheed on that northeast side. On the east side of Burnaby, you have popular pickups such as Edmond Station. And then on the south side of Burnaby, you have popular pickups such as Metro Town, which for example, only take you 20 minutes from that Metro Town Station to take the SkyTrain into Vancouver. If you are looking to move more into the central area of Burnaby, just be aware that you are typically going to have to grab a bus that will then connect you to a SkyTrain station, although that shouldn't take too long, but they don't have those major SkyTrain pickups in that central bulk of the Burnaby city area. All in all, one of the top reasons for people to choose Burnaby is because they're looking for an alternative option to Vancouver. And if accessibility is important to you, then this is definitely a city you're going to want to check out. So as mentioned, the city of Burnaby is huge and with a large city comes a lot of different areas and sub areas. And so the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver recognizes Burnaby to be comprised of Burnaby North, which has 17 different sub areas, Burnaby South, which has 16 different sub areas, and then Burnaby East, which has three different sub areas, which obviously comes to a combined total of 36 different sub areas all within Burnaby. So the way that I actually like to break it down is a little bit different than the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver. I like to separate out Burnaby North. I would actually add in more of like a central part of Burnaby and then Burnaby South and Burnaby East. So the way that I like to separate out North Burnaby is by splitting it into East and West. So on the North Burnaby East side, you're more bordering Coquitlam. So for example, like Lowheed Town Center area, which is parts of Government Road, Simon Fraser University and Montecito to name a few. 
Then I have North Burnaby on the western side, which is more so sub areas such as Brentwood or popular Willingdon Heights and Vancouver Heights. When I'm adding that central Burnaby area that isn't formally recognized by the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver, I'm kind of thinking a lot of portions below the Trans-Canada Highway, but above Kingsway. So for example, anything around that Deer Lake and Burnaby Hospital area, Forest Glen, Garden and Green, Green Tree Village, and then also Oakland. When I'm looking at South Burnaby, I primarily think about it in terms of Metro Town um, and then everything south of that. So for example, Big Bend and South Slope are popular sub areas there. And then on the Burnaby East side, I mostly like to consider it more around that New Westminster area. So Highgate, Edmonds, and then those East Burnaby sub areas such as the Crest. In terms of outdoor spaces or community centers, Central Park is an absolute staple within the community. You've got a beautiful park area. You have an awesome pitch and putt. It's actually one of my favorite pitch and putts in all of the greater Vancouver area if you do like golf. Um, really, really nice distances, lots of variety, and I believe it's an 18 hole, which is hard to find for a pitch and putt, um, but also lots of different walking areas, nice little pond um, and lake options as well. Uh, definitely a great area to check out. You also have Riverway Golf Course and driving range as well as the Bonser Community and Recreation Center which is home to uh, gym, pool, basketball courts, skate park, lots of different options to enjoy within that community center as well. So I will also note that all throughout North Burnaby they are investing a lot in terms of new community centers. So you have the Confederation Park Community Center which is currently in the works as of 2023 for the design phase that will probably start construction more so come 2024. You're going to have indoor gyms, you have a pool, like you know massive fitness center, running tracks, fields, all that jazz is going to be going there. Um, and then out kind of closer to that low heat area you have the Cameron Community Center as well which is going to be same same but in a different place. So the nice thing about North Burnaby is you do have a lot of different options in terms of upcoming and new community centers. And so in the more central part of Burnaby, again, this is my informal sub area that I've kind of made up, but makes sense to me. Um, I find that there are staples such as Deer Lake, which has a beautiful lake in the center and a nice walking trail all the way around. It's also home to Hart House Restaurant, which is actually where I got married. And it's right beside Shadbolt Center for the Arts, which is a great community space um, for artists and other people alike to enjoy. In the central Burnaby area, you also have staples such as British Columbia Institute of Technology, so BCIT um, and Burnaby as a whole is actually home to two um, major post-secondary institutions BCIT being one of them and then Simon Fraser University being another that I had already previously mentioned um, you also have Burnaby Hospital in that central Burnaby area so if being close to a major hospital is important to you then that area might be very well suited um, and it's also got uh, options nearby such as Burnaby Lake Burnaby Lake is another beautiful lake option a little bit bigger and it's home to like Blue Heron turtles beavers so you can see a lot of different wildlife there and a lot of people go there for bird watching as well also really great walking running options I've actually done a marathon there all around Burnaby Lake and it's a beautiful space to go for a run go for a dog walk whatever you like um, so definitely lots of different outdoor options within the central Burnaby area um, and it's also home to a lot of major um, companies within Canada as a whole so it's home to electronic arts and then also TELUS just to name a few Last but not least, for the Burnaby Central area, you have the Burnaby Lake Sports Complex, which has both an east and a west side and is home to over 15 different fields. And so you can imagine there's a lot of different outdoor activities going on here, some of which include soccer, rugby, football, field hockey. They've got a baseball diamond. So a lot of different athletes and just people alike enjoying that area as a whole. And there's a lot of different games that go on there all throughout the year. Um, for the indoor portion of things, they also have a number of options, but one of the most notable, I would say, is the Eight Rinks um, Skating Center um, is how it was known as previously. And those are eight different skating rinks um, that are obviously home to a lot of different major, major international athletes when it comes to figure skating and hockey.
So getting into everybody's favorite question, which is what are the best neighborhoods to live in in Burnaby? I will start this by saying if you're looking for more of like the urban centers, like a condo, hustle and bustle, like you want to be in all of those higher density areas, then the ones that you're going to want to check out are definitely going to be Brentwood in the Burnaby North area, Metro Town in the Burnaby South area, maybe South Slope if you're a little bit outside of that hustle and bustle but still want higher density or possibly Highgate, Lougheed Town Centre which is more on that Government Road Sullivan area um, and then also Simon Fraser University's University area. So regardless if you're looking at urban centers or not, if I was to rank my top five best neighborhoods in all of the city of Burnaby, I would say that the top five up there are really going to be Brentwood, which is that Brentwood Mall area that is home to the amazing Brentwood Towers, as I mentioned before. They're newer, they have beautiful views. The area itself is very clean, very modern, and a lot of people like it for that reason, in addition to the mall, retail, and commercial spaces that I've already mentioned. And it's it's also got amazing detached homes and good school catchments. The next would be the Heights, which is inclusive of both Vancouver Heights, which is confusing because it's technically Burnaby, and then also Willingdon Heights. So this is that area that's kind of off of uh, Hastings as you move more towards Boundary Road. It shares the border with Vancouver, which is obviously beneficial to a lot of people that are looking for easy access into Vancouver. And you also have very easy access into North Vancouver over the Iron Workers Memorial Bridge. It's got a lot of different options in terms of the commercial spaces off of Hastings. It's a very vibrant community. There is a lot of community and culture in the area itself. Um, and I would just say that it's a very exciting place to be that's really kept its culture and heritage well. Next would be Metro Town, which for similar reasons to Brentwood, I would definitely include on this list. As mentioned before, it's got the mall option there, which is one of the biggest malls in all of Canada. Um, you've got lots of things to do within the area, very diverse culture, lots of food options as a result of that, and a lot of different um, kind of like urban spaces that are a part of it, right? You have that Metro Town area, but you also have Station Square, you have Crystal Mall as a staple within the community, lots of different Asian grocery options, lots of grocery options as a whole. Um, just a very exciting place to be and very accessible in terms of transportation again. Uh, and with Kingsway there, you do have very easy access into the rest of Vancouver and also very easy access into Richmond, New Westminster, and then also everything further out east. Last but not least on this list is Government Road. This is a very large sub area, um, very popular and well known for also being the home of singer Michael Buble, um, who went to Seaforth Elementary. And so that is uh, a popular neighborhood for that reason. Obviously breeds excellence. Great schools within the area, beautiful detached homes. These homes are huge. You have mansions in the area, um, very beautiful construction, but also a mix of classic older construction. And then as you kind of sweep up in the sub area, more towards that Coquitlam border, you're heading up into that Lougheed Town Center neighborhood, which is also built by Shape Properties um, and a lot of different developers that are also getting into it. They've got that new high rise community there with Lougheed Mall as really the center of it and a lot of that Korean influence that I had mentioned before, such as H Mart, Hanum Grocers, a lot of different Korean restaurants, and just a very strong, vibrant Korean community uh, with a lot of other cultures mixed in as well. I'd also like to add some honorable mentions into this and I think that Simon Fraser University is a great option um, for anybody that is looking to get a little bit more bang for your buck and is okay with a leasehold option. You've got a beautiful community up there that's been rebranded as University City with a C and they've got beautiful views, a lot of different options in terms of low rise, high rise, townhouses um, and all just with like beautiful sweeping views of the mountains and the ocean. So if that's something that's important to you, but you're wanting to stay within a budget, I definitely think that Simon Fraser University is one to check out. Just make sure that you use a realtor that is comfortable and familiar with leasehold properties. Just down the hill as well, the honorable mentions I want to add are that like Lockdale, Capitol Hill area. Um, this is, you know, beside the Heights, you get a lot of the commercial, vibrant cultural spaces off of Hastings Street that I was talking about previously, and a lot of different options in terms of community centers, um, easy access to hiking, easy access to different highways, and so definitely one to check out as well if you are interested in the North Burnaby area. 
So that sums up my best neighborhoods in all of Burnaby. Obviously, everybody has their own opinions, but I think that these are my top ones. If you have any questions or comments about this, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. So that sums it up for today's video on the city of Burnaby. I hope that this video was helpful in getting you guys to understand a little bit more about the different breakdowns within Burnaby and all of what the neighborhoods have to offer for you if you are looking to live here. As mentioned before, my name is Mariko and I am a residential realtor with my team, Bridgewell Real Estate Group. And so if you are looking to buy or sell anywhere within the Burnaby area, please feel free to reach out to us anytime. We'd be more than happy to help you. If you are looking for more resources like this, you can also refer to our YouTube channel. We've got a number of different neighborhood and city guides. So please make sure to like, subscribe, and then comment down below if you have any more suggestions for what you would like to see for future videos coming up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.